Hi, this message is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, I'm just doing quickie reads while I'm moving. I've already moved all my stuff out, but I'm just cleaning up stuff. But um, I think I already did your bigger message that I was going to do. But anyway, um, so I pulled less cards. And what I'm seeing, it's showing up as like, as some type of relationship reading, but it doesn't have to be. So I'll talk about the energies that I see. Um, but what I'm showing is that you've got, the first card that you've got is the staff. And the staff indicates that you have a lot of power in your, what you're creating in your reality. And what I'm showing is that you, um, either your single or you're thinking about being single but it's like you don't want to what I'm seeing is like you don't want to deal with relationships or with drama <laughs> um, because I'm showing that you had basically moved away from that it could have been from a previous relationship um, or it could have been from something that was toxic in your life it doesn't have to be a relationship um, the devil can represent a Capricorn that you could have moved away from. It also represents anything that you feel bonded to. So anything that, like if you're obsessing over anything or addicted to anything, that would be the devil. But I'm showing that you like moved away from it. And now you have like this creative power, right, with, with the staff and with the rainmaker, like this is making it rain, okay? And something is showing up, and it's showing up as the Emperor. This could be an Aries, but we also have clarifying with it's the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, this can indicate that this person is kind of like. Showing up in like, almost like their knight, knight in shining armor type of energy. <laughs> but this is showing that there is, yeah, I'm seeing this person as maybe kind of a, like a drama queen. Um, they also could be either very attached to mater the material world, like financially, so either they work a lot and that's all they're focused on, or they um, have the opposite energy of like being broke, not knowing how to manage their money, but it's like an imbalance there. And it th this also can be, the emperor can be controlling. So like if it's not a person, it could be something that is coming into your life where it looks like really good on the outside, but you feel like it would take control of your life again. Like it, it feel like you're moving back into this energy. So for instance, if it's like a job or something, um, you feel like, wow, oh, I don't want to be stuck at like a nine to five doing this, even though, but it's going to bring in all this money. So it could be a situation like that. Um, now, the next card you got is change. This indicates change, but in this, car this card also talks about um, you being able to change your mind once you've made a decision. So like, for instance, if you decided to go into a new relationship or start a new job, it almost looks like maybe you did, but you're having second thoughts about it. You're wanting to change your mind. Or, um, cause there's, we've got the Queen of Swords and she, the Queen of Swords, this is the energy that I'm showing you showing up with. She will cut out of her life things that do not serve her, that are not for her highest good. And she has a lot of wisdom because she's very logical, um, but she's been through a lot, and so she makes wise decisions. And this is showing you coming in um, 
looking at this situation with this energy. And um, Seven of Cups can be confusion, but it's like having a lot of options. So it's just not necessarily that you're confused, but you haven't made a, your decision as to which way you're going yet. And um, we've got the Page of Cups here. Now this, to me, is like you looking at if this is where something that you're going to love, where you want to put that energy, what if you want to put your energy towards that and this could be a love offer coming to you like a love mess a message from someone it also could indicate that it could be from a water sign uh, another water sign Pisces Cancer or Scorpio but it's showing you basically with the way this guy is thinking He's just sitting there thinking, and then all these all these cards, they look like they're all just sitting there thinking. And it's like you trying to decide, make a decision. And um, the very last card I got was the Lovers. I've got a few cards in between, I'll show you in a second. But this indicates you make trying to make a choice um, in what you love. And... Um, but the next card I got is Patience. And for me, that makes me feel like you don't know everything you need 